Well, the meeting at Spiva was basically just a, an investigative meeting to see if local area artists were interested in forming some kind of an artist group or organization. I do believe that um, when, when 70, 80 artists come to a meeting, regardless of how disorganized it can be, it shows you the need for artists to come together. There, there has to be differences of opinions everywhere, but for all intents and purposes, what we try to do is get them all together, at least to have them in a mailing list and to, for them to have a vote. I think there was probably about 500 letters sent out. I think we had responses, uh, RSVPs, of probably around 40. <laughs> it ended up over 70 artists showed up, so it was a phenomenal meeting. And artists from all different ranges, meaning hobby artists, semi-professional artists, professional artists, I mean, they were all there and were all very interested, had great comments, great questions. If all agree on one need, then all can be served by the need. We all are working towards one goal, and it is to make Joplin uh, a destination for the arts, to make Joplin a, 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 an important you know, part of this uh, quality of living. There, there were a good number of professional artists that were there. And I don't mean to, to demean anyone at all, but the people that have made the decision to really get out there and try to push their work, there are so many things that those artists know that the rest of us don't necessarily know how to be professional, how to show professionally, how to exhibit our work in a manner that, that gives our work value. And from now on, we're gonna, we are going to start talking about what's important. What's, in, what's important in the community, what's important for the artists, what is important for the changes that we want to do, what is important for the benefit of the artist. Um, group ourselves in a more um, official, you know, way so we can start creating a single voice um, and, you know, keep building, keep building. My gallery is actually sitting on top of what was the Morrisman swimming pool back in the early 1900s. And if you go to the Joplin Historic Books, you can actually see pictures of it. Uh, but it was a very cool Olympic-sized swimming pool that they used the spring water to fill the swimming pool with. You know, I think that, that this room um, reflects a little bit more uh, what I like in, in other people's creative, uh, you know, what, what they produce, you know? You know, it's, it's somebody else's art in my studio. I mean, that's very weird, you know, I mean, but in a way it's wonderful because I'm honoring the creativity of other artists that I consider uh, my colleagues, you know, I consider them to be, um, you know, part of this, 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 this whole avenue of creativity, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it has nothing to do with how much they cost, it has nothing to do with how big they are, most important is that you invite them to come to your studio and live, you know, in the same place I produce my own work.